Hi nurslings. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about endogenous insulin. The insulin that your body makes on its own. We're gonna talk about how the body makes it, um, where the body makes it, and maybe do a little bit of an overview of its purpose. So here we go. When we talk about diabetes, we're talking about how the body responds to increases in glucose in the blood. And we can't really talk about that without talking about endogenous insulin. In other words, insulin that the body makes on its own, as opposed to insulin that is created outside of the body and then used. So it's really, really important to understand what insulin is, where it comes from, and what it does in the body. If you can get a handle on this, you will fly through the rest of this unit. You won't have any problems understanding diabetes. So the first thing to understand is that the body makes insulin on its own. It's produced in the pancreas. So inside of the pancreas, we have these kind of we call them a sini. That's basically just a the chunk of the or a group of cells in the pancreas that are doing the pancreas's job, right? And so we have these kind of these little acini here. But the really important part is this right here. This is called the an islet cell. It's an islet, technically an islet of longer Hans. I don't know if I'm saying that right, and I don't really care. Um, so in the same way that the kidney, the, the functional unit of the kidney is a nephron, uh, the islet or islet cells are the functional unit of the pancreas. And what these cells do is they release insulin and another hormone called glucagon. Now, they, they release a few other things as well, and we'll talk about that as we go through, but right now we wanna focus on insulin. Um, and like I said, if you guys can just get, a, get and wrap your minds around what insulin is and what it does, uh, everything else from here on will make a whole lot more sense. So insulin, again, it's a hormone, is created in the beta cells inside of an islet of Langerhorn. There are also, if you look here at this picture, we also have alpha cells and delta cells. Right now, we're just gonna focus on these beta cells and what they do. So the beta cells are kind of continuously releasing these kind of pulsatile increments of insulin. And we call that kind of pulsatile release throughout the day a basal rate. So when you hear somebody say basal rate, that's what they're talking about. Just kind of that low underlying release of insulin that's happening all day throughout the day. On top of that, the body releases insulin as a response whenever there is a lot of glucose in the blood. And that's because the main job or purpose of insulin is to take glucose out of the blood. So when insulin is secreted from the beta cells, it doesn't come out kind of fully formed. It starts out as something called pro-insulin, which is kind of this, uh, this polypeptide chain, chain that's created, uh, that's made up of an, an A polypeptide and a B polypeptide. The important part is that they're attached right here by this C peptide chain. And at some point, uh, these ribosomes inside of those B cells kind of cleave that molecule and they separate it into insulin, which you, these would be your insulin kind of molecules, and what's left over, uh, the C chain. The C chain actually stays in the blood, and that's the thing that we can use to measure how well the body is creating insulin. So if the beta cells are secreting a lot of insulin, you're going to have a lot of these kind of C chain molecules in the blood. If the body is not creating a lot of insulin, you're going to have less of them. And really the, you know, if you want the textbook kind of explanation of what insulin does, it regulates or helps the body to use glucose. 
I like to think of it as um, insulin likes to get glucose out of the blood. That's its big goal. Now, sometimes it does that by using the glucose up. Sometimes it does it by storing it. But if you if you think of insulin as a part of the body or or a hormone whose main goal it is to to rid the blood of glucose that will really really help um, as we move forward obviously we don't want to rid the blood completely of glucose but just kind of keeping that in mind as we go